praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god happy sunday to you we thank god for this beautiful day it's a glorious day indeed and we give god all the glory for this is the day the lord has made who rejoice and be glad in him hallelujah we thank god for today this is every word of god for daily living <music> Let's pray. Precious Father, King of glory, Lord of Lord, the saints of days, Lion of the tribe of Judah, Father, we bless you. I give you glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another time of fellowship, another time to praise you, another time to give you glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace, O oh God, for waking us up with good head and strength. Hallowed be your holy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as done in heaven. Blessed be your holy name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I give you all the praise. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh. God, we sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to Praises to your name, oh Lord. Praises to your name, oh Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be. Hurts your home. Come and be everything I am and all I own. Search me true and true till my heart becomes a home for you. Till my heart becomes a home for you, oh, home for you, you, Lord, a home for you, you, Lord, let Open up the door for you to come true. Let my life be a place where you want to be. Come and make our hearts your home. Lord, come and make our hearts your home. Come and dwell in us, O oh God. Come and draw us closer to yourself. Come and teach us your words, your statutes, how to keep your commandments and to walk with you, Lord. Father, we surrender our hearts and our mind, our spirit, our body to you, Jesus. Father, another moment this is, O oh God, to hear from you. Come and teach us your word, O oh Lord. Destroy the forces of darkness that is always fighting your word, that we will not yield 
so eh, that we will not understand it. For the Lord, fill us with the understanding of your word. In the name of Jesus, come with your word to heal, to deliver, to set free, O oh Lord, to break the bondage, O oh God, that Satan has put on many true fear. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Set people free by your word. Let understanding be given, O oh God, to mankind that we may know the hope of our calling. Hallelujah. The spirit of holiness, the spirit of righteousness, the grace to live for God and the righteousness of God. Father, let it be released to us today, Father, even as we hear your voice in the name of Jesus. Be exalted, Lord. Prevail, Holy Spirit. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Our topic today is power for greater service. This is by Pastor Porika, the International Director of the Holiness Ever Movement Worldwide Short Form Huremon. Hallelujah. Today is Sunday 25th, 2022. Attested from the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4 and verse 40 to 41. You can take time to read that for yourself. And our key verse from the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 8, I read, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto unto the uttermost part of the earth. Amen. We will be witnesses for Jesus unto the other was part of the earth in Jesus name. Amen. I take our reading. One who is born again is promised the baptism with the Holy Ghost. Baptism of the Holy Spirit is also called the promise of the Father or power from on high. It is the infilling of a believer with the power of the Holy Spirit. This is required for effective and fruitful Christian service. It is a gift from God to his children who earnestly hunger, taste, and ask for its true prayer. The evidence of baptism with the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues by the enabling of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We're going to take time and pause and discuss this. Hallelujah. So we see here that the receiving of the Holy Spirit is first of all, your earnest hunger. You know, when you are hungry, you want to be filled. When you are hungry, you go and ask for food or make yourself a food or go and buy food. So hunger, if you are not hungry, that means even if you are taking something, you're taking food, you feel too full. Or if you're not hungry, you will not appreciate the food that is before you. But if you are hungry, even if it's your worst food, your worst food at that time will feel so tasty, right? Because you are hungry. So the Lord wants us to hunger for the Holy Spirit. You need hunger. You need to taste after it. And when you are hungry, you are tasty. And then you go to ask God for it. Because that hunger gives you passion in the place of prayer. Because you are hungry for it you you see people weeping you see people hungry they are spending nights to pray oh anytime they hear about the holy spirit they feel depressed they just start crying because they feel they don't have something they are lacking something so they hunger and they taste for it that is how you receive first of all the lord wants that hunger you don't want to just give it the Holy Ghost and after you have the Holy Ghost, you, you use it anyhow. You don't care about him, especially when he's speaking to you. You don't care about him. He wants you to. Because when you hunger, you know, when a man loves a woman, he does almost all his best to make sure he woe that woman. He wins her heart, right? He's making effort. And that also makes him to respect the lady. Because lady is like, you know, now they are making shakara and so. But he makes effort. Hallelujah. So when he gets the woman, or let's say he make effort to get the bride price and pay her bride price yeah i think that's a better example he makes effort and after getting the woman he cherishes he cherishes what he have bought what he have gotten what the bride price he, that he has paid that is the effort he made this is just an illustration for us to understand hunger you can just say, oh Lord, I want the Holy Spirit, I want the Holy Spirit, and you are not doing it passionately. You are not hungry about it. The Lord will not give you if you don't really need it. If you don't really, not that you don't need it, you need him. You need the Holy Ghost. That is not like if you don't need it. If you don't really desire him, if you don't really want him, anybody can just come, oh Lord, come into my heart, my Lord and Savior, but you have to desire to have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The evidence of baptism with the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. And it says the spirit is the Holy Spirit that enables you to speak. It's not like pastor said, begin to speak, begin to speak. And then you start speaking ABCD. 
You start speaking what you don't know. It is the spirit that gives it to you all true. And you, 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 you see yourself, something is wailing in your spirit. You just feel like saying something. Oh, it doesn't make sense to you. You just feel like saying something. Before you know, if you hold yourself, you bust out. And you start, take it. That is like that. I was trying not to just, I don't want to say anything. But then I, had, I felt a hold in my spirit to speak in tongues. Because the, by his grace, God has filled me. It is the Holy Spirit that enables you to speak these tongues. It is not just calculated tongues, written tongues, imaginable tongues. No. The Spirit of God takes your mouth over. You may be speaking like this today. Tomorrow the Lord will take you in another, in another uh, realm or, 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 or with another way. You can be speaking a, 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 a tongue with T. Tomorrow it can take you with B. Tomorrow you can take it with M. It is the spirit that enables you. It is not yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues, in other tongues, as the spirit gave them utterance the spirit of the Lord. It is not as your pastor told you to speak. It is not as you thought in your heart or you have written out it is as the spirit of the lord you believe in him you 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 expect to receive and as you receive you you speak it's not just like he will tell you or you say oh i've received and i want to speak no that i want to speak that means it is you it will come out just like now i was trying not to speak but it burst forth that is the spirit of the lord hallelujah amen Every believer has the Holy Spirit called the Spirit of Christ in him. But not every believer is baptized or filled with the Holy Spirit. To receive the Holy Spirit baptism, the believer needs to hunger. Hallelujah. He needs to hunger and thirst for it. Then seek the face of the Lord in impotent prayers and in faith for this experience hallelujah we've emphasized already in hunger and taste now we are seeing also you have to pray continuously you have to exercise your faith in god now you're it's just like you pray for something now you keep praying oh god give me oh god give me especially uh, 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 women that are seeking for the fruit of the womb they keep praying oh god give me and then they have faith they go to buy the material they go to buy the a, a, a baby dress or a baby uh, 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 pants because that is the that is the uh, 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 substance for their faith I don't know if you're getting me. So you hunger, you taste, then you act in prayers. You go and tell the Lord how you feel, how you want him to give to you. You go and seek the Lord in prayers, even with fastings. I tell you, because fasting give you quickly. Hallelujah. You go in fasting, in prayer. So fasting is just like telling the Lord, oh Lord, I desire it so much that I want to keep myself without food. I want to receive it. I want to be pure. I want to be holy. Because the Lord cannot come into a dirty body. The Lord cannot come into a heart that is full of grudges and, uh, and witchcraft, and uh, anger, pride, arrogance, flesh. The Spirit of God will not come in. All the fruits of the Spirit, let them be in you. So that when He comes, He says, oh yeah. This is the body I want to enter, full of love and peace and gentleness. Oh, yes, what am I waiting for? I'm entering. This is my body. Hallelujah. 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 You hunger, you thirst, you go and pray, and then you exercise faith. Sometimes it can be frustrating. We are hearing other people speaking, and then you are not speaking. It's like, ah, something is wrong with me. I wasn't once, I was once like that. I would go home after every Holy Ghost baptism service. I would go and cry. Ah, what is wrong with me? Why am I not receiving? Why is it like me? Look at that sister. He's receiving and he's speaking. Oh, I'm not receiving. And then the pastor will give testimonies of how he received or how people received. And then you are like, ah, your hunger is high. And he's like, you want to die if you don't receive. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Maybe one day I will share my testimony of my experience. The what the Lord has done. Mine is not just receiving the Holy Ghost. My eyes got open. The Lord did the Lord. The gift of the Holy Spirit. The, the blessings of God that follows it. Like it's not physical blessings, but spiritual blessings that comes with it. The assurance of God. The power to preach 
preach the word of God. I am a shy person. I don't even speak. People that know me when I was younger, I don't speak. But this person, you, if, in fact, after I finish preaching, I go back to my shyness. But anytime I come here, I'm like a lion. I'm ready to tear down any devil. Yes, because it is the spirit of God that enables me. It is the spirit of God that empowers me. You see me when before I come here, I'm like, I'm like this. But when I come here, I'm like, who is there? This is the word of God. The Holy Spirit. It is my He's my, he's my father. He's my God. I'm here to preach the word of God. Who wants to listen? Listen, because the Lord is ready to enter, to give me that boldness, that power, that grace to live holy and righteous to sanctify you. You see, when you have the Holy Spirit and something, ha, ha, the spirit of God is wonderful. When you are saying something, you might not have known that you see, maybe you have forgotten that it's not true. Immediately you say it, the spirit of God, there's a witness that, it, that there's something that happens to me like, ah, that is not true. I say, ah, okay, sister, I'm sorry. That is not true. I, I, I can't say that. Like the spirit of God speaks to you. It speaks to you. You know, God is our creator. He, he, there's a sensor in our body that God has put. There's a way he speaks to our heart, our mind. He gives us understanding in a unique way. In a way that you don't understand. Some people can hear audibly. Some people can see, see the Lord in, in the dreams speaking to them. Some people just have this, this uh, designing spirit to design. This, they just understand the Lord just with their sensing. They just, oh, it is the Lord that made this. Oh, okay. I should not do it. Directions. You see, you start living in supernatural life. People are like, ah, what kind of sister is this? Ah, this one is different. Everything, she's just perfect. Always perfect. What kind of sister? Mrs. Wright. It is the Holy Spirit. Because when she's about to make mistake, the Holy spirit is saying no it's like this so when she does it ah everybody got it wrong but you because it's the spirit of god the children the spirit the, the children of god are led by the spirit of god hallelujah that leading you need it what are you waiting for why are you not going to cry oh you need it go and cry before the lord go and hunger go and taste go and pray and exercise faith say i receive it and you will in jesus name amen hallelujah i continue our reading this is the fulfillment this is in fulfillment of the promise the lord made that he was going to pour out his spirit on his people in the end time Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and it shall come to pass afterward that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions why is your eyes not yet open why are you not opening your mark a little satire why are you not yet opening your mouth to prophesy? Speak the things of God. Miseries. Speak the word of God as God gives to you. Speak it forth. Why are you not yet speaking for the word of God? Why are you running from one church to the other for them to prophesy? Ah, prophesy. When God says he will pour out your spirit upon you to prophesy. Why are you running after pastors? You, yourself, you are more than a pastor. A more than a pastor is in you. That is ready to use you for the glory of God. Hallelujah. You shall see visions. You shall dream dreams. You shall prophesy in the end time. Are we not in the end time? We are in this time already. So I will pour out my spirit. Receive the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The outpouring of the spirit enables one to speak boldly it's kind of a i went ahead of myself the spirit of you see this is what i've said before but I, i'm just rereading it now it's pastor rica uh, I, i've written it you see because we experience pastor rica is writing these things for us to read and i'm telling you my experience now you see it's just like a double a double a, a confirmation i said it and now this is how it is because this is our daddy writing it to us the outpouring of the spirit enables one to speak boldly no matter whether it's kings or whosoever is there as far as the spirit of god is leading you see it's like i don't know how will i give an, a, the example like a tap when you on the tap the water does not have a choice than to run when you open your mouth in in, in, in obedience to the word of God, God said, come and preach. You, your mouth will start running. Everything that word, the Lord wants you to speak will start coming out. You don't even have to think about it. You see, you see the power of God, the boldness of God, the grace of God is just all over you. Just The Lord just wants you to be willing to 
Release yourself to him. That boldness, that fear will disappear and boldness will come in. Oh yes. Oh yes. That boldness will come in. Amen. If you just release yourself to the Lord, the outpouring of the spirit enables one to speak boldly and with authority. Those who were filled with the Holy Spirit acquired strong desire to preach and get others converted to the Lord. That is why we are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gives you the passion because that is the aim of God that every man come to repentance. Everyone be saved. So when his spirit comes, he's enabling you to do his work. The spirit of God is for service receiving the Holy Ghost. If you are yet to receive this divine gift from God, this divine gift from on high, earnestly pray for it. For if you are a sinner, repent from your sinful life. Repent and get sanctified. Then ask God. You cannot be a sinner living with your girlfriend in the house, staying with an, uh, uh, an unmarried man. And then you say, sorry, staying with a man that has been married before. And then you say, go, come and give me. Some people, they receive, I don't know how, how we say it. They start speaking in tongues. Maybe because they were taught. Maybe because it's the doctrine in the church that everybody speak. I have seen someone, somebody speaking in tongues. Let me just use the word TTT. Allow me. The person is praying. Oh God, oh Father. TTT, 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 TTT. Are you joking me? You have the spirit of God. You have the spirit of God. And you say you are truly speaking in tongues by the spirit of God. And you are sleeping and doing it. No, it's not the spirit of God. If it's the power of God, if the, you, you saw the way I yell, everybody don't yell like this and doesn't have to be like this all the time. But you cannot be sleeping and speaking in tongues. These are how those people are in those churches that they speak in tongues in doctrine. They are just speaking because they have overheard it from their pastor. They have overheard it from the man seated beside them. So all, all the all the M and all the T and all the everything together, they start speaking T, Bala, T, 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 T. They just are saying nothing. Doesn't make any sense. But if it is the spirit of God, I remember then I used to be in these churches. When the pastor say, let's speak in tongues, start speaking. I don't speak. My mouth seal up. In fact, it is when the pastor is saying, in Jesus' name, pray. that is why I want to blast off. That is why I want to speak. Because it is not the man that tells you to speak, but it is the Holy Spirit that giveth you utterance. It is not the man that gives you utterance. It is the spirit of God. That quickens your spirit. That helps you to pray in tongues. Hallelujah. That is why sometimes you are just praying. In, you are just praying, praying, praying words. Before you know your words are changed. Sometimes you want to stop it. But it's like, ah, you are feeling something welling in your spirit. Oh, you just have to let it out. And then the Lord prevail. The spirit of God is saying something. Oh, sometimes, sister, your prayers have not been yet answered yet because maybe you're not praying aright. You don't have the spirit of God to speak in tongues that you will pray the mind of the father. That, that thing that you're not seeing, you're only seeing, you think that it is a, it is a, a just a, something that is blocking your way. But the spirit of God is saying, no, it is something else. It is not that thing you are looking. Look at what is blocking your way there. You are not seeing it, but the spirit of God will help you pray it. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord teach us more. May the Lord give us the spirit. May the Lord help us to grow strong in the spirit. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Amen. Desire the spirit of God. You cannot receive the spirit of God as a sinner. Repent from your sins and get sanctified. Then ask the Lord to energize you with his power. You need this power to work for the Lord in this end time. Oh yes. And it's what? There's the power of God that's going to separate you from others. That's going to make the difference in your life. Hallelujah. Our thought for the day says, power for end time exploits is available for as many that will hunger and taste for it. 
Are you hungry? Are you tasty of this power of God? Are you ready to work for God? Do you really want to surrender to the Lord? Maybe you still have a sin in your life. Pray this with me. Say, Father, I am sorry. Forgive me of all my sins. I have sinned against you. I'm a sinner. Forgive me. I confess my sin. I don't want to live a nominal Christian life anymore. I want to enter into the spiritual. Oh Lord, I repent. Father, sanctify me. Make me holy. Make me righteous. Oh Lord, I surrender to you. Fill me with your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe you are someone that really desire. You've been crying, but now I pray in the name of Jesus. Receive Receive the Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Flow. Living water. Flow. 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 In the name of Jesus. Rivers of living water that flows from the stream of heaven. Spirit of the living God. Flow into someone's belly. Springing forth with everlasting life. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of God. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. As you hunger, as you taste, as you believe, receive in the name of Jesus. Have faith. Sometimes you just need faith that yes, something has happened to you, but you are so afraid to speak. Open your mouth. The Lord, he said, open your mouth and I will feel it. Open up your mouth and the Lord will feel it. Be filled with the power of God, with the spirit of the Lord in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. I will take some time to go and pray. Hallelujah. To pray in the Holy Ghost after this devotion because my spirit, I am willing from the inside. Hallelujah. That is to create more hunger in you. Go and pray. Seek the face of God. Have faith in the Lord and the Lord will fill you. The Lord says in his word that if we early parents will not give our children serpent instead of fish, will not give our children stone instead of bread, that when we ask of him, the Holy Ghost, he will give to us. He will give to us because it's a loving father. Go and seek the face of God and he's ready to give to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful, fruitful day. In Jesus' name, amen.